Welcome class to your next English class. How are you today? Are you happy? Yes? Well, write it down in the comments below because I want to know how do you feel today? Yeah. Alright class, how are you? I hope that you are excellent. Uh, remember to write down the, your answers uh, on, on the comment section. Alright? Okay, before we start with the activity, let's make a quick um, wake up exercise and it's going to be super simple, okay? Super simple. The only thing you need to do is touch the ceiling. Can you do it? Let's try. Yeah, that's it. How do you feel? How do you feel? You feel better? A lot of cars passing by really noisy all right all right class now that we wake up we shake it and we begin all right now before we start with the topic let's make a review right let's see if you remember the previous class I'm going to ask you something the instruction is write down one sentence using a superlative uh, adjective and another one using comparative adjective write down on the comments below so you have to write down two sentences one superlative and one comparative the first five students are going to get an extra point all right go you can pause the video i'm i'm going to wait here ready all right let's begin okay class for uh, this lesson uh, you are going to receive a email, all right? And in this email, you are going to have this. This is the list of words from uh, the next book. This is lesson one, book five. Okay, so we are going to practice these new words. Simple as that, all right? So I'm going to give you some time. Actually, I cannot just pause the video go and download the the list of new words okay go I wait for you here oh also you are going to need your pencil go <laughs> ready okay let's begin okay class we're going to start uh, this class by making a little warm-up okay and this little warm up is going to be like this. Mm, okay, the the sound of M. Ready? Mm, good. Now let's change it to the sound of E. E. O. O. Perfect. Now we are ready to start. Okay. We are going to point with your finger the each word that I pronounce. Right. So you hear the word and you point at the word on your screen or whatever you have this list of words. You take your finger and you point at, at the word that you listen to. Right. Let's start. Lesson 1. The words you will hear are not necessarily in the same order as the ones in the book. Healthy Healthy Tutors Tutors Fascinated Fascinated. Composed. Composed. Comfortable. Comfortable. 
thought, thought, handsome, handsome, designed, designed. Gracefully, gracefully. Memorized, memorized. Sensitive, sensitive. Related, related. Circling, circling. Excellent class. Now, did you catch which one is the missing word? Write it down in the comments to let me know which one is the missing word. All right. All right, class. Now, let's go into what is the meaning of all of this. All right. I'm going to read a sentence and you are going to circle uh, in your page the spelling word, all right? Tutors are available to help you improve your English. Circle the word that is the spelling word, right? Two, Luisa is fascinated by the solar system. Circle the spelling word. Three, Mozart composed great music. Circle, the spelling word. Jake is a handsome young boy, like teacher Ivan. Circle, the spelling word. Eric danced gracefully on the stage. Number six, Roger is related to a famous scientist. Number seven, I am comfortable in my bed. Number eight, Alice is healthy because she eats vegetables. Number nine, the soldiers fought bravely. Number 10, Julia has designed a new dress. Number 11, we have memorized all the songs. 12. My eldest son is named Chris. 13. The seagull is circling around the beach. Number 14. Ludwig, had, Ludwig was a sensitive young boy with great dreams. All right, did you find all the spelling words? Excellent. Then let's go to the final step. Here we're going to watch some pictures that describes these words, right? For example, tutor. This is a tutor and it's a type of teacher that helps you. Fascinated. When you watch something that is amazing, you are fascinated. Wow. Three, composed. Composed means to write or create something, all right? For example, Mozart composed a lot of music. Number four, handsome. Teacher Ivan is really handsome. Handsome, handsome is something that is beautiful, all right? Number five, gracefully. Gracefully is when you do something beautifully, all right? With a lot of grace, beautiful. Related. Related means that it belongs to the same family, right? For example, you are related with your parent, okay? Comfortable. That means that you are comfortable. This is really comfortable, right? Healthy. A healthy person eats vegetables and goes to the doctor. Thought. Thought is the past participle of fight, meaning fighting, okay? Design. 
Design is uh, making a plan or drawing to do another thing, all right? The plans for another object, the design. The design of this shirt is really nice. Memorized is something that you have in your memory, okay? Pretty simple. When you sing a song, you need to memorize the lyrics of that song. Eldest means the one that is older, right? For example, me and my brother, my brother is the elder because he is older than me, all right? Circling, that means going in circles. Sensitive, sensitive means a person that is emotional, sensible to everything, all right? I'm really sensible. Don't talk to me like that, all right? All right, all right class, and we finish. I'm just going to help you to remember how to count the syllables of a word, okay? By snapping your fingers. I'm going to help you with the three first with the first three words, all right? Tutors, two verbs. How many syllables? Two. Fascinated, fa se ne te. How many syllables? Four. Composed, composed. Two syllables. And class, if you finish counting the syllables, we finish this class. Excellent job. Congratulations. Let me know which one of these words is your is your favorite. Write it down in the comments. My favorite word is handsome because it's like you, teacher man, or something like that. All right. Okay, class. The homework is going to be. So you are going to use these words in a sentence. All right. Let's begin with ten. Okay. Pick. 10 from these 14 words and you are going to make one sentence per each uh, word all right take a picture and send it to my email that is going to be the homework all right okay class it was really nice to see you again i will see you in the next video all right